Well, it's amazing who you catch up with in the paddock, and it's fabulous to catch up with Neil Cole, World Rallycross presenter. Lovely to see you. And to see you. On British turf at Lydon Hill. What are you doing here? Um, honestly, I have come down to watch Rallycross. You know, I've missed it. Uh, it's my first Rallycross event of the year, and it's an hour and a half from my house. Uh, the organisers kindly allowed me to come. So, uh, yeah, it's brilliant to actually come to Lydon Hill and watch some cars in action, and a lot of cars this weekend. Yeah, 100. It's unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Great as a season open. As you say, I think we've all missed motorsport. We've all missed racing, haven't we? Yeah, it's been really hard. I mean, I was lucky last year. Quite a few of the series that I work on carried on, but that was really limited. So you're kind of, you're traveling out, you're fully in COVID bubbles all the time. And it was, it was good. You know, I was lucky to get the work, but really it was, it was really tricky. And there wasn't a huge amount of fun. You know, mm. motorsport is a lot about for me, the reason I've done it for nearly 20 years is because you have a lot of fun around it and it's hard to have fun uh, under current circumstances. But touch wood, there's, yeah, there's no just wood. Just quickly find yeah, it. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, you know, things are opening up and uh, the fact that we can come here and there are spectators. I mean, people are coming to watch to watch uh, rally across the Lydon Hill, which means nature is healing, which is lovely. Mm, yeah, the future definitely looks bright, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, you've been involved with rally cross for a long time now. It's quite phenomenal, hasn't it? How it's evolved and developed and grown in popularity over the last uh, five years or so. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, I, I started with the World Championship in 2014, and obviously it went through a big sort of rise when we had the likes of Loeb and Ken Block and Peter Solberg. Uh, regularly competing in that but what it's done is while that's kind of settled down a little bit you watch how the rest of rallycross has kind of raised its game and it's lovely to see some big names some big cars here this weekend and i think you know the future's really good at the elect just watching the first outing of all the little fiat 500 electro rallycross cars was brilliant to see because while you know a lot of the purists go where's the noise but <laughs> those things are powerful you know what the more we get accustomed to seeing them in the mix with ICE cars, the more attractive that's going to be as a proposition. And, and they're just great fun. And I was lucky enough to sit in a, an electric um, Fiesta with Ken Block last year in, in Hullius and just the power. I and mean, yeah. I've been in quite a few supercars, but it was more powerful than any supercar I'd ever been in. So people, you know, have got to sort of get used to the fact that electric is coming and actually it's got some advantages. And it is the future. Yeah. It's a really, really exciting time for motorsport, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you can't can't get away from the fact that, you know, we just watched Liam go around in the RS200, Rosie, in its new livery. And, and stuff like that, you'll never replace that. That's such a beautiful piece of kit, such a, you know, a rare, uh, a rare vehicle. And to watch someone with the skill of Liam throw it around Lydon Hill is, is a dream. So that's, you know, that's given. That's not going to disappear. Um, but yes, we have to embrace that things evolve and things change. And it will bring in new manufacturers. It will bring in new cars, younger drivers. Uh, so, yeah, it's all very promising. And as long as we keep a lid on um, the pandemic, we'll, uh, we'll see a lot more of this. It's very exciting. And Lyddon Hill, such a fantastic fitting venue for the season opener. It's always a, it attracts the crowds when they can come, mm. but it, it's, it's a really great way to kickstart the year. I mean, look at it. This is the birthplace of Rallycross. It's also one of the most dynamic, coolest tracks. I mean, I have been lucky enough to go to, I've not been to the one, the Nitro ones in the States, but I've, I've been to the, the top level Rallycross circuits around the world, but very few of them beat this. Um, this hill, I mean, I've skateboarded down this hill and I've got the, <laughs> got the speed wobbles about there and very nearly, very nearly came off and got myself quite a lot of embarrassing gravel rash, but I managed to hold it together. But yeah, I've got a lot of history here personally. I've not been able to come back since 2017, the last time Worlds was here. So just, just as a personal pilgrimage, I mean, the perfect way for me to start my rallycross season was to come here as a spectator and just enjoy being at Lydon Hill. And for you, all being well, fingers crossed, busy year ahead? Um, I've got stuff booked in. Um, I've just been having conversations about doing some work for World RX, which would be nice because, you know, I've been doing it for, for seven years now. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get to do that. Maybe a bit of um, uh, Nordic as well. But fundamentally, uh, as a Rallycross fan, if I'm free at a weekend when it's British Rallycross Five Nations, I'll be coming to watch yeah, as a spectator. Well, you're more than welcome anytime. It's always a joy to catch up with you. Uh, good luck for the rest of the year and enjoy the rest of the racing at Lydon Hill this weekend. Thanks, Neil. Thank you.